What's it like to live in St. Mary's County, Maryland? Hi, I'm Sarah Mulford Martin with the Liberty Home Team, and today we're going to give you an overview of St. Mary's County. Then we're going to visit the top 10 places to live in St. Mary's County, Maryland. St. Mary's County is rich in history and was founded in 1637. It's considered to be the birthplace of religious freedom of North America and was settled by the first English Catholic in 1637. If you love history, this is a fantastic place to live. We are surrounded by very navigable waters, including the Chesapeake Bay, the Patuxent River, the Potomac River, and the beautiful Wicomico River. We are home to some of the best fishing, crabbing, and oysters in the entire nation. If you love small town living, this is a fantastic place. Our economy is strong and driven by Patuxent River Naval Air Station, government jobs, and more contracting jobs getting added onto the base every year. We are located about an hour and a half south of Washington, D.C., and about an hour and 15 minutes south of the capital of Maryland, Annapolis. St. Mary's County is a growing county. We have a lot of new restaurants, shopping, and new home communities being built. Most of St. Mary's County is comprised of single family homes. We have a small amount of townhomes and a smaller amount of condos with more coming. It's a family friendly area, overall safe community, and a great place to live. If you need more information, you can contact me or click the link below and we'll get you hooked up with all of the wonderful places to be in St. Mary's County. One of the most beautiful places in Leonardtown is the gorgeous Leonardtown Wharf. This waterfront park is rich in history as this used to be one of the main points for getting tobacco in and out of Maryland. Now they've turned it into a beautiful waterfront park where you can rent and launch kayaks and paddle boards in the summer. They just put in a brand new public pier, a playground. It's great for walking, relaxing, and enjoying the beautiful waters of Breton Bay, which lead out to the Potomac River. One of the most beautiful places to live in St. Mary's County is Hollywood. Not Hollywood, what's your dream, but Hollywood. A more rural town about 15 minutes away from Pax River Naval Air Station and anywhere about five to 10 minutes away from Leonard Town. There are a lot of beautiful places in Hollywood, including where we are today, the historic Soderley Plantation. This is on the banks of the Patuxent River and it's one of the most popular spots in the area. Rich in history and they host a lot of events here from food truck evenings to craft fairs, wine tasting, and even historic ghost tours through the actual plantation. Hollywood is comprised of mostly single family homes in neighborhoods built by uh, quality built homes. There are a few other smaller, older neighborhoods. Popular neighborhoods in Hollywood are Twin Ponds, Broad Creek, Joy Chapel, and then there are also a lot of waterfront properties in Hollywood on Cuckolds Creek, which is very popular because of the depth. Another great thing about Hollywood is that it is close to your major shopping, like your big grocery chains, Target, BJ's Wholesale Club, is about five minute drive, and it's also close to Leonardtown. The base is only about 15 minutes away, so it's a good middle point if you don't want to actually live in the town of Leonardtown. This is on the banks of the Patuxent River and it is a stunning landscape. Definitely want to visit here when you move to St. Mary's. And fitting for the next town we're going to head to is California. Not the California and this is not the Hollywood. But let's go check out California, Maryland where you're going to be closer to shopping and in more in the middle of the hustle and bustle. The next featured area in St. Mary's County that I wanted to highlight is California, Maryland. This is a very popular spot. It's closer to shopping. You've got your Harris Teeter grocery store, which is the major grocery store here. Target, BJ's Wholesale Club, a lot of gyms and fitness centers. Most of your chain restaurants like the Olive Garden, Outback Steakhouse, the movie theater, Aldi. This is gonna be the hub of where you're gonna go shopping in St. Mary's County. Today I'm standing in Wildwood, which is one of the most popular neighborhoods in California. This is a huge neighborhood made up of a bunch of smaller HOA neighborhoods. So we have a mix of older homes tucked back on smaller lots. And then we have some newer homes as well as townhouses and condos. And they're still building townhouses as we speak. 
This is a very popular neighborhood for people who work on packs or want to be in close knit in the community and with their neighbors. We've got walking trails, various playgrounds, a pool, kiddie pool. They have a swim team here, a clubhouse, tennis courts, and a lot of activity. This is one of the greatest places to live in California. They're also expanding the local airport here, the St. Mary's County Municipal Airport. They're expanding the runway to accommodate larger planes. This is also gonna be the hub of the technology corridor and they are working on bringing in a lot more tech jobs. So keep an eye on that. If convenience is what you're looking for, being close to shopping, close to base and things you're gonna be doing on a daily basis, then California, Maryland is where you're gonna to wanna to be. Next, we're gonna go out to Solomon's Island, which is technically not in St. Mary's County, but it's just over the bridge and it's a hot spot. One of the most popular places in Southern Maryland, although it's not in St. Mary's County, but it's just over the bridge is Solomon's Island, Maryland. It's a small waterfront resort style town with plenty of restaurants, quaint little shops, a lot of marinas, and the Calvert Marine Museum, which is a popular destination for families, lots of things to do, and they also host a summer concert series. We actually get some pretty big names coming in here, like Brothers Osborne, the Bare Naked Ladies, the Goo Goo Dolls, just to name a few. While you're visiting Solomon's Island, you may see some of the jets from Pax River Naval Air Station flying up the Patuxent River. In the summer, if you're visiting, they also host the Dragon Boat Races, which are right here in Solomon's Island. Just next to Solomon's Island is another area called Lesby, which is popular as well for people traveling over to Pax. It's about a 20 minute commute and your homes could be a little bit cheaper in the Lesby area. So if you're looking for something a little more affordable, you may want to check that out. This community is very walkable. It's a loop you could go down and all the way at the end, it looks out over the Chesapeake Bay where the Patuxent River meets the Chesapeake Bay and it comes back around. There's also the very popular Tiki Bar, which opens in the summer and it draws a huge crowd. So if you like to party and have a great time, you gotta check out the Tiki Bar in Solomon's Island. Another beautiful and popular area in St. Mary's County is Mechanicsville. Mechanicsville is gonna be about 35 minutes north of Pax River Naval Air Station. And it's gonna be at the northern end of the county, close to Charlotte Hall. People like to live in Mechanicsville because of the proximity to Washington, D.C. and Waldorf. If you have two people, one working at PAX, one working at Washington, D.C., it's a great midpoint. Mechanicsville has most of your basic shopping needs, uh, grocery stores, fast food chains, and it's going to be right on Route 5 on Three Notch Road. There are some rural communities and there are some waterfront communities as well, and the housing tends to be a little more affordable there as well. Another nice feature of Mechanicsville is the Three Notch Trail. It starts at Oaks Road and runs 13 miles south. It's great for walking, running, biking, skateboarding, all of the activities that you like to do outside, and it's non-motorized vehicles. Our next stop in St. Mary's County is the Piney Point Tall Timbers area. This is a beautiful waterfront community along the Potomac River comprised of small summer cottages that have been turned into more permanent homes. This is more rural area. If you like quiet living along the waterfront, this is a great spot for you. In the 1940s, it was used as a torpedo test center for the Navy, and now it's a maritime training center. This is about 30 to 35 minutes away from Pax River Naval Air Station, but is a gorgeous place to live if you like to be away from the hustle and bustle. One of the most beautiful landmarks in St. Mary's County is right behind me, the Piney Point Lighthouse, which is about 30 feet from the Lightkeeper's house. If you're looking for rural farm living and you wanna get away from it all, the seventh district is the place to be. That's gonna be Colton's Point Avenue, the Clements area. That's what the locals call the 7D. You'll find living amongst the locals is one of the best places to really get acclimated in the community. If you're ever in the 7th District, don't miss Abel's Diner. That's where you're going to get a great burger and be able to have conversation with local hunters and fishermen to find out what's really happening in St. Mary's County. Our final featured location today is in Lexington Park, Maryland. This is going to be the closest to Pax River Naval Air Station and the featured community is Cedar Cove. Cedar Cove is comprised of single family homes, townhomes, some of them are waterfront, and a condo community. They all have this beautiful beach access leading right out to the Chesapeake Bay.
On a clear, beautiful day, you can see all the way across the bay over to the eastern shore. If you go up the bay that'll take you to Annapolis, all the way up into Baltimore, if you go down the bay, it'll take you all the way down into the ocean. I hope you've enjoyed the videos today and getting to know the St. Mary's County and Southern Maryland area a little better. If you have any more questions, check out our contact information below and feel free to contact me.